Come on, Houston. Oh, oh grab it. Got it. Got it? Kagan? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Holy oh, crap. Gosh. Holy man, holy man. Fried egg, fried catfish on a biscuit. That's the most southern thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get any more southern than a fried catfish biscuit. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. You guys know we got our Helix mattress about uh, two or three months ago. I think it was back in early June and we've been sleeping on it every night since. Helix Sleeps makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. That's what's awesome about it. Helix has a uh, quiz. You go online, fill in all the quiz about how you sleep, your age, your size, and whether you and your partner sleep certain ways on your back, on your side, whatever it is. And Helix picks the exact mattress for your needs. And for us, it picked the Helix Midnight Lux. Lux just sounds good, right? And we also opted for the cooling cover. And I'm a hot sleeper. I sweat. And I don't like to be sweaty when I sleep. So having a nice cool top on that mattress, mm, I like it. DJ likes to sleep under like, you know, 75 blankets and pillows. I'd be just fine with a sheet. Another thing that, that I personally opted for was the adjustable base. And that's something I never really thought much about until recently. But um, having that, let me show you. There's a, a little zero gravity button right here where the mattress raises the head and the feet. I'm telling you what, that takes all the pressure off your lower back. And if you're just sitting there watching TV or something, you can lay like that forever. And that lower back pain dissolves away. So with Helix Sleep, you're gonna get a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. They also have financing options and flexible payment plans. So you can figure out what works best for you. So as I said earlier, the best thing about Helix Sleep is it is shipped right to your door for free as long as you're in the United States. You don't have to go to the mattress store and be haggled by all those salesmen. It's almost as bad as a car dealership. I, furniture stores and car dealerships are two places I don't like to go. So being able to have that mattress shipped right to your door, that's a stress reliever in itself. So we love our Helix mattress and I think you will too. If you're looking for a new mattress, be sure to check out the link in the description box or go to helixsleep.com slash armsfamily. You'll save up to $200 and get two free pillows. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and we're starting this video out down at the creek with a bucket to catch some bait. Houston's not with me. He's on his way home with mom, but Cole and Jay are here and um, they're uh, doing a little creek fishing adventure. But I said, why aren't we keeping some of these little bluegill and green sunfish? Because we're going to head over to the lake tonight and uh, maybe do a little bit of bow fishing and run some jug lines. I said, we're out here catching fish. Let's throw some in a bucket and we'll have some bait for our jugs. So, you know, they've already caught about 30 and we didn't think about it in time. Got a monster? Yeah, I got perfect specimen. Now, if he stays alive, we can put him on their hole alive, but if he dies, we'll just cut him in half and catch two fish out of him. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, we didn't think about this before we caught like 30 fish, but. We're gonna make up for it. Oh, well, it won't take very many. Bell has been supervising out here for the last half hour or so. Every time they catch a fish, she's like, just give it to me. Perfect catfish bait. Perfect. He was aggressive, so maybe another one. I can't put that on a hook for the catfish. No, not having that. No. <laughs> you can't eat it either. Well, we're getting a pretty good bucket full of bait. Cole's got one in a mud hole here. I got him. I got some good grass cart bait. <laughs> What do you think, Bella? You want to go to the lake? Not tonight. Oh, we got a live one. Well, we made it over to the lake. We're going to throw out a few uh, jug lines here. Cole brought a whole box of just pool noodle catfish lines, single hook. And um, we're going to throw a bunch of them out. 
tonight before we do some bow fishing and then we can come back and check um run them as we as we bow fish through the night see what all we can find cole swears up and down these pool noodles or the magic token that's going to catch catfish tonight. Yeah, they work pretty good. You know, we sometimes have better luck on limb lines, or sometimes they're better luck on yo-yos, but some nights it's hard to be a pool noodle, and it's a good way to get a good spread of baits out and at least be able to cover a big area and hopefully get some. There's nothing like watching pool noodles scream across the top of the water. Oh, I agree. I agree. We don't have all the, the cypress trees like you guys have got to uh, tie hundreds of lines to, so yeah, we're pretty limited. The pool noodles are the, the best option for us pretty much. Yeah, we got a good fresh bait. I don't see what to go wrong tonight. How you like them? You like them between the eyes, the lips? Man, they're Oklahoma yeah. catfish. They're not that picky. Hook them however you think you need to get them. Okay, we'll go a few, we'll do a mix. I'm not sure how we'll remember what we did on each one, but we'll just go like through the nose on this guy. We definitely won't remember the difference. <laughs> Chunk it. You don't really have to chunk it. Just get it in the water. Everything is is lit up. We're getting all of our lines thrown out. Hopefully, Cole catches some catfish for us tonight. I'll do my best. And uh, <laughs> Cole admitted to me today that neither him nor Jay have ever bow fished. Never. So... Never even shot a bow fishing rig, so they're gonna show us how it's done. We're gonna figure it out tonight. You can do it. It's not difficult. Do you aim above the fish or below the fish? Way below the fish. Way below the fish. Refraction is a real deal out here. Okay. So when you see a fish, if it's you know, the deeper down in the water it is, the lower you have to aim. But hopefully, if it's like it was, I don't know, a couple weeks ago when we were out here, the uh, the gar come right up to the surface if we can find them. So I'll give you some skinny targets. Nice. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy. What, you got it? <laughs> Cole just <laughs> shot his first fish. I didn't even record because I thought, I don't know what he's shooting at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him right in the tail. Yeah, he was right there beneath the boat. Hey, I'm one for two. Nice right shot. Right one, he's shooting, shooting 50%. Watch your toes. A little bit under? Yep. You got him. Real baby, real! Come on, baby! I'm begging. Oh gosh, dude! Golly. Look at that big old guy! <laughs> dude, you are the hammer! Dude, we're two for four now. <laughs> hey, that's, pretty big. that's a pretty big spotted guy, guys. Yeah. That's thick. That's a thick guy. Rich, rich. He's better than Richard. <laughs> Richie never hit one the other night when we were shooting at all. <laughs> that's that's probably bigger than anything we got a shot at the other night, though. Sweet, good shot, good shot. Thanks, dude. Thanks. For Hopefully, you're on. as good as the cat, good on the catfish as you are the gar. Uh, we'll see. I have no no promises. <laughs> <laughs> it's hit or miss. It's too slow on the button. You seen? I did. Oh, right there. Oh, I went under. Oh, give me a positive. Oh, dang. <laughs> He's right here. He's right here. Yeah. I don't know if he'll come back up, but. Oh, that's all right. You almost had him. Oh, I did not almost have him. Houston did, though. Oh, that's what I was talking to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn off that light? Ready. Lower. I was literally right there, Dad. What do you mean? Dude? I was looking at your bow. Oh, I think there's another one right there, Cole. Right off to the right. Hang on, let me get a little closer. Maybe not. I couldn't see him. It was. It was. Well, that's two carp right here in the same spot, so. Oh, my God. He's still there. He's just chilling. He's going to get under the boat. He might pop out on the other side too deep. Dang it. Dude, it was like a foot deep. What happened that time? I don't know, man. I've been like under all the fish I've been shooting at. 
I was doing good at the beginning. Maybe it's a little bit of beginner's luck wearing off. Or maybe it's a little bit of fatigue. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta get at least one more. Heck yeah. We'll see. Another <laughs> missed video clip. You didn't even think you hit that fish. No, dude. I, you you told, shot and was like, nah. Here's the deal. I went like 0 for 20 on the last 20 fish I shot, including Shad. We got to be real. We were shooting at Shad, too. And um, you made the comment that I was I was aiming too long. I wasn't making instinctual shots like I was at the beginning. So I just, we full sent it and it, right it, to the dime. It worked. I think we killed it. You dome shot that one. <laughs> you, you put him down. Yeah. He No shot. Dunzo. Ain't mad at it. Sweet. Sick. <laughs> well, we let Cole whack a few fish with the bow. That was his first ever bow fishing experience. And he shot three gar. One of them was really nice. I think uh, I think Cole enjoyed the bow fishing. But now we're going to start chasing down some uh, chasing oh, down some of our, our jugs. And this one's swimming away from us, isn't it, Houston? Come on, Houston. Oh, grab it. Got it. Got it? Digging? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. What's on there? Yeah. Holy oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Pull him in. Pull him in. Oh, oh look at that That's cat. That's a good one. Nice yeah. channel cat. Woo. <laughs> That's awesome. Dang, he's been Hopefully, we got a few more of those. That's our dinner tomorrow, probably. Or something. Lunch or something. Lunch, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Jay had the net ready, but Houston just ripped it in the boat. That's all thanks to me, guys. Yeah, dude. Get him in the live well. Woo! All right, let's go get some more. Yeah. yeah nothing. nothing on that one? We got nothing, here. nothing on it. Interesting. What the crap? We have something. Okay. I take that back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just reeling it up like a normal person would. And it jumped out of your hand? Yeah. Why don't you just pull the line in and then and then reel it up? It's so big. I don't know, but there's definitely something on it somewhere. Turtle? Don't be a turtle. Oh, it's oh a gar. Goodness, it's a gar. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well? Well, it's a gar kind of night, huh? Well, shoot. Look at that. <clears throat> He's alive. He's upset. Yeah, well, that definitely tricked you. You got him. Better let Cole get the hook out of that one for you, Houston. Hey, that's fair. Oh, sorry, my bad. I know that one bobbed. I saw it go under. How's it feel, JJ? Oh, it's a good one. Woo! Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh, he's in the boat. He's in the little boat. Put him in the bucket. <laughs> A little bit. Maybe a little bit smaller than the last one. A little yeah. bit. He's still pretty yeah, nice that's though. A good one. It's a really nice channel cat. Oh yeah, that's good eating. <laughs> Healthy looking channel Ooh. cat. That's so exciting. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't want to grab that one, Houston. Yeah. What? I already got the fish. He's being nice. Oh, what a gentleman. Oh! <laughs> Keep him in the boat. All right, let's get him off the hook. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this one. Oh, it's about to take off. It's about to get mad. Oh, this is. Oh my gosh, this is big. What? Oh, he's always oh, tangled up in something. It's a pretty good one. He's tangled up in a stick. Look at this. Get up here. Oh, don't spin off. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got the fish in the stick. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that might be the biggest one. You had to bring them all in the boat. <laughs> Goodness, that dude was all stuck. That's a good one. He's not too bad hooked. Just get him off real quick. Houston, are you napping back there? Yeah, I'm tired. You tired? It's late. Yeah, it's like midnight. But we've got lunch tomorrow for sure, huh? We knew we were missing a noodle somewhere. Luckily, we found it. There we go. Fish number three is another solid one. 
I think our first one's probably like six or seven pounds. This one's probably about the same, wouldn't you say? Yeah, probably so. Probably Something six. like that. Probably yeah. six. Chunky belly, healthy looking channel cat. Oh. <laughs> Not as healthy now as he was a minute ago, but he's been going live with our other ones. You know, with the two catfish, we probably had enough, but now we definitely have enough. Oh, for sure. Tomorrow. We're going to be eating good. You see it? Well, I saw, I saw it flop. I think it's catfish, but yeah. it's, it's right here. I'm trying to get it off the side of the boat. I had to turn the motor, the trolling motor off. You still want to get it. Okay, awesome. Where is it? Oh, right. It should be right beside the boat. Should be. It might have gone under. I think it was kind of stuck in that grass. I'll hold you. You get. You stretch. I got you. I think it's big, Houston. Got it. Pull it easy. Oh you fighting back? Oh, I saw him. Oh, it's another channel cat. cat. You got it, Houston. That's a you got big him. One. You got him. Clean the boat. Clean the boat. Get him in. Clean the boat. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Heads up. That's a good one. Wow. Man. Well, that's definitely the biggest one of the night. Dude, what that's a That's what show. we keep saying, isn't it? <laughs> I know. They keep getting bigger. That's awesome. Good fish, man. We Good thought fish. there was one potentially missing, and that's definitely got to be the last one. How many times has Cole said that? I know. It's been <laughs> the fourth, probably the last catfish of the night. Houston, are you wore out? You look tired. Got a headache? We said in the last video Houston had a had an ear infection. He's been on some medications, and we kind of got him all, all doped up on the medication <laughs> to come out, and he wanted to go tonight <laughs> for this right here. Huh. I can barely hear what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it. It's past midnight, and I think Houston's ready to go to the house and go to bed. But uh, I know what we're having for lunch tomorrow. Cole got out here, got to shoot some fish for the first time. Did a little bow fishing. Houston didn't, unfortunately, didn't get to hit any tonight. But he took a few shots. And uh, I bet you, in the near future, you'll see some bow fishing videos on Cole and Jay's channel. So <laughs> keep an eye on that. Check them out on YouTube, Cole and Jay. Um, huge thanks to those guys for coming out. It's been fun spending a couple days with them doing all kinds of stuff in the creek and the pond and the lake and so go check out their videos i think they probably made three videos while they were here so um this one's probably the highlight of the night oh right? yeah i think so, so. all right let's be get quiet, him in the box be quiet there was a huge bullfrog that way i know they've been all around us out here Woo! Okay, it's the next morning. Yes, I said morning. It's like 9.30 a.m. Cole and Jay are gonna have to head out this morning, but I can't let them leave Oklahoma without some fried catfish. Cole also got us, he snagged us a bonus catch at the boat ramp last night. The biggest bullfrog I think I've ever seen. He was a monster. I mean, from like his nose, it's like from the tip of my hand and his legs were like all the way to my elbow. Like fully extended, huge, massive bullfrog. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna fry up two frog legs. Um, if you want to see the video of that bullfrog and how big it was, go check out their channel, Colin J. Um, it was massive. But anyways, it is breakfast time, and we're going to have fried catfish. So we're going to try something I've never seen before, because why not? Chick-fil-A says chicken on a biscuit is perfectly normal. So we're going to do fried catfish biscuits. Yeah, you can. Houston's gonna have fried catfish. Yeah. Cole and I, I don't know about Jay, Cole and I are gonna eat a fried catfish biscuit. Oh, I'm going to. You're going to? Yeah. We're gonna try it. So I don't know what all we're gonna put on it. We got some biscuits in the oven. I got the burner going outside. And I think what I'll do is some of these some of these uh, channel cat fillets are quite large and thick. So I think what we'll do is just cut the tail end of this fillet off and make it a biscuit size piece so it's a little bit thinner and we're not using this, you know, like one inch thick fillet because these channel cat had some big fillets, but here's our two uh, frog legs. Cole left the feet on for you guys because I'm sure some of you just really wanted to see that. So, frog legs and fried catfish biscuits <laughs> for breakfast. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you should just plant the frog legs. Yeah, yeah. You like that I left the feet on them? <laughs> you like that I left the feet on them, don't you? I was back here having something. I was about to do that. <laughs> so, we are. Somewhat swinging from the hip on this. This is a whole new recipe idea. This may be the next big hit at McDonald's. Who knows? So, <laughs> fried catfish, 
fish biscuits. We're gonna fry up a couple eggs, probably do like, like over medium to get that little bit of runny egg on your catfish filet on a biscuit. I mean, it can't be bad. What do you think, Houston? You've gotta try it. I mean, I might try it, but I'm not gonna eat a whole biscuit. <laughs> All right, we've got our fish oil up to temperature. 350 degrees is what I like to cook my fish at. Uh, these catfish fillets are, I threw a couple extra in there because Houston's not real sold on the, on the biscuit idea. So I'm gonna throw these big, thick, meaty catfish fillets in here. Let them cook for just a couple minutes. And then we'll get these thin guys going. And as soon as our fish is done, we're gonna move into the house and fry up a couple eggs. By that time our biscuits will be done. This is gonna be good. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a new hit. That's what we're after right there. A little crispy catfish filet. The little tail pieces are cooking a lot faster than those big thick filets. DJ and Emily aren't here. They went to town, had to go run some errands, do some stuff. Probably have to cook the rest of this catfish up for them for lunch, but oh man, listen to it sizzle. You waiting on a bite of fish? Probably not gonna happen, sis. I think our frog legs are done. Frog legs for breakfast, right? Just what the Houston requested. Oh, those toes held up. All right, here's the spread. Some Grand's Biscuit, fresh homegrown fried eggs, fresh caught catfish, and a couple frog legs. Who's ready for breakfast? Me. It's me. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. Catfish filet. See if I can flatten it out a little bit. Make it a little bowl shaped. We're gonna take our Hopefully over easy fried egg that's still a little bit runny. We hope. Bon appetit. Mm. How about that? Good. Fried catfish biscuit. Houston likes dipping his fish in Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm-hmm. You better eat it or Trashy's gonna get a bite. Trashy, you want a bite of fish? Hmm? It's good. <laughs> Earl said it's good too. How was it? How was it? How was it? Good. You like it? Yeah. I have never had catfish and eggs before, so this is kind of weird to me, but I bet it's going to be good. Oh, God. Well, the egg was plenty runny. <laughs> it was so runny. Well, wow. okay, guys. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Good for you. Oh my gosh, oh my I feel gosh. like she was kind of doubting our uh, abilities there for a second. What do you think, Cole? <laughs> I, I think she. I think she was really messed up about the egg on the fish. Yeah, the egg was. Going, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, fish biscuit. That sounds great. But then you were like, put an egg on it. I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. But hey, it's good. A little messy. <laughs> it is. I wanted the egg runny. It seemed like it had to me in my mind. I had to have the egg still runny. So that's the sauce. See. Mm -hmm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I have not had this in so long. Since we were at Colin J's last year. So if you guys missed it, last year Houston and I went to Arkansas to Colin J's. They live on a really big lake that's covered in lily pads and grass mats and they have tons of bullfrogs. So we did a, a whole bullfrog catch, clean and cook on a fishing pole. We are catching them on jigs in Houston nailed some big bullfrogs on a jig and uh, we took them home cooked them the next day and they were phenomenal they, they literally taste like kfc fried chicken it's really when cole got through with them yeah it's so good they looked amazing so be sure to go back and check that video out if you missed it but let's tear into this catfish biscuit so okay i'm gonna go right here got a little egg a little catfish Pretty dang good, isn't it? That's money. That is so good. Like, 
And nobody before us has done this. Man, we need to trademark it like instantly. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so, so good. Just give it a few weeks and there'll be there'll be uh, fried catfish biscuits all over YouTube. I know. Everybody's gonna have to try it. I, know, I can see it now. We could start a food truck. We can have this as our breakfast, or you know, our main breakfast item: catfish biscuits, maybe frog toes. You know, <laughs> 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 but it, it's actually really, really good. And honestly, not that surprising. Three great food items combined into one. I'm all about it. Can't go wrong, huh? Mm -hmm. Nope. Let me dig into this biscuit. Let's give this a taste test. Look at that. Does that not look just like the best idea you've ever had? I wish DJ and Emily were here. They're missing out. Mm. I, I took a, a note from Houston's book and put a little bit of Chick-fil-A sauce on there. Oh, fried egg, fried catfish on a biscuit. That's the most Southern thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get any more Southern than a fried catfish biscuit. Anybody Bam, Chick-fil-A and your chicken biscuits. Hey. It's honestly so good. Mm. What if you put this on the on that too? No. You should I'm try that. This every morning. <laughs> it's so good. Cold. Mm. There, there. Look at that. All right, Houston said he would try the catfish biscuit. I'm gonna try the runny part. First of all, the biscuit is always a 10 out of 10. Second of all, the egg is a 10 out of 10. Third of all, the fish is a 10 out of 10. So it's all a 40 out of 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Cole and Jay are headed back to Arkansas to go see their baby. They were here for, what, two and a half days, something like that. Yeah, like and uh, we had a ton of fun, got to do a lot of fishing. I think they filmed three videos. Be sure to go check them out, Cole and Jay, and uh, maybe working on some future adventures with those guys. We'll do some stuff. Their channel is awesome. They're a great couple, great young family, and mostly fishing and, and outdoors-related content, but they're awesome, really cool people. I think we got Cole into a new hobby. Yep. In bow fishing, but our idea of a fried egg catfish biscuit, man, that was a hit. May have to do that again in the future. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it was pretty good, honestly. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.